This is the famous Altamura bread, considered as the best bread by Horace, 37 before Christ. But is this really true? The best way to find out is to have a look by ourselves. Let's go to Altamura in the south of Italy. Hello, I'm Carl and I'm your guide. And we are here in Altamura, La Città del Pane, which means City of Bread. And not just any bread, the Altamura bread. And the Altamura bread is made out of 100% durum wheat flour. And that's what it's all about. The region of Puglia in Italy is known for its huge fields of durum. Every year at midsummer, the farmers start the harvest. Here at Minini Mills, the durum will follow a number of well-defined processes to become the famous durum wheat. But what makes durum wheat so special? Il, sicuramente questo la semola rimacinata conferisce al, al pane una, um, una maggiore conservabilità in quanto assorbe un 10-15% in più di acqua rispetto alle farine di grano tenero e, uh, e rilascia quest'acqua in cottura molto lentamente. La conservabilità uh, è di circa 3-4 giorni e abbiamo ancora un prodotto uh, di ottima qualità. Inoltre la farina di grano duro uh, mantiene, uh, contiene delle, degli antiossidanti come i carotenoidi che uh, conferiscono al pane un, uh, un valore nutritivo più elevato. Un terzo aspetto importante del, del pane ottenuto con semola di macinati di grano duro è il gusto. Chiunque può... Um, assaggiare i due prodotti, pane di grano duro e pane di grano tenero, e notare come il prodotto sia uh, decisamente più gustoso. Another important ingredient in Altamura bread is sourdough. And therefore, we go to Bari. We are here at the University of Bari, where we will meet Professor Marco Gobetti in his lab to ask him why this bread was so good. There are several factors that may contribute to, the, uh, to this importance. They are the use of the, of the durum weed, they are the climate and the environment which helps on selecting the most appropriate condition for making the bread and especially, in my opinion, the use of the sourdough under traditional uh, protocols. The major part of our work is concerning the microorganisms from sourdough. We are isolating, identifying strains, uh, exploiting their potential and selecting the most performing strains to be used for the industries or for scientific purposes. And now for the bread of Altamura as well as for other types of bread we know most of the beneficial effects that sourdough may give to bread. They are concerning especially texture, flavor and nutritional properties. And I don't want to forget the natural image which is given by sourdough to the related packet goods. Right, now that we understood the importance of durum wheat and sourdough in Altamura bread, it is time to discover the bread itself in Altamura. Altamura is a splendid little town with a lot of narrow streets and the typical Italian touch. And, oh yeah, with more than 58 bakeries. Time to find out how the bread is made. We are now in one of these famous bakeries of Altamura. And what we are going to do here is to follow the whole process of this fantastic bread. It all starts with the making of sourdough. The sourdough is essential for the flavor of the bread and it will provide its typical taste. Mm -hmm. 
Nunzio is the fourth generation of a baker's family who is making Altamura bread like it has been done for centuries. Durum wheat, water, sourdough, salt and a little bit of baker's yeast are the basic ingredients. All the rest lies in the knowledge and the craftsmanship of the baker. Time for baking. This oven is phenomenal. Since 1951 it is heated with wood, using 120 ton of oak per year. Look how the typical shape of the bread is obtained. Only the original Altamura bread made with local ingredients and using a strict baking process receives the DOP nomination. È una mollica bella gialla, il colore giallo, ricco di proteine, di sali minerali e di, e di fibre soprattutto, perché il grano duro sappiamo che è ricco di fibre anche. La farina, l'aria e l'acqua che ci abbiamo noi ad Altamura. E poi ci vuole tanto amore per, per fare il pane, ci vuole. The Altamura bread. We've seen that durum wheat plays a very important role in the taste and the flavor of the bread. And it's true. But let's ask a second opinion. To do so, we go to Paris to ask the opinion of Meilleur Ouvrier de France, Thierry Meunier. Salut Thierry. Ricard, comment ça va? Ça va, il y a longtemps. N'est-ce pas? Je suis content de te voir. Oh, c'est un pain original déjà. Ah. Oh. Une mie très serrée. On voit qu'il a été cuit sur four à sol, toi. Une, une sole bien marquée, là. Une mie très jaune. Hein. Je vois qu'il y a du levain dedans. Une odeur agréable, hein. c'est doux. Hum. C'est doux. Et il euh, y a beaucoup d'arômes, beaucoup d'arômes en bouche. Mais pas, pas, encore une fois, pas acide. Donc c'est des pains intéressants, des pains... Moi, c'est intéressant... Ça c'est un pain original, donc pour mon magasin, je pense que ça c'est une belle histoire aussi. Donc ça c'est des pains super intéressants, c'est top ça. Now we are convinced, this bread has an extraordinary taste and flavor, which can seduce customers all over the world. But is there any way to share all this information? Yes, there is. We collected the sourdoughs from have every region of uh, Italy. You have to know that in Italy there are at least four or five typical breads for each region. In some cases more than four or five. The ultimate goal is to build up a library where all the strains which are responsible for the most important characteristics of the sourdough are stored in two places, in Puratos and especially and in my laboratory for keeping this diversity and their potential as, as long as we can. Creating a library where the sourdough heritage is reassembled, it's an exciting idea which became reality. We are here in the Pirato Sourdough Library in Belgium, in the Center for Bread Flavor. And in this library, we preserve the world heritage of sourdough. In fact, we have um, the outcome of many years of study on traditional sourdoughs from around the world in collaboration with uh, Professor Gobetti from Italy. In fact, we have many uh, mother doughs being preserved here under optimal conditions so that we can protect and preserve the biodiversity of traditional sourdoughs for many years to come. I think it's very important to have the Altamura sourdough here in our collection 
because the bread of Altamura is probably one of the best breads around the world. Of course, we also hope that many traditional bakers will also offer their sourdough for the collection so that we can also enlarge the collection of natural mother doughs into this library. Yes, indeed, we can agree with Horace. The Altamura bread is a fantastic bread to eat. It's the result of a marvelous combination of durum wheat, sourdough application and baking skill. The sourdough of this bread deserves undeniably a place in the Sourdough Heritage Library of Puraros.